Hi, this is part one of three videos that we're gonna be discussing our DSPs, Registered Disability Savings Plans. Today, we're gonna to discuss the basics of our DSPs. So who are Registered Disability Savings Plans for? They're designed for people who receive the disability tax credit. And an RDSP can be opened when you are eligible for the disability tax credit. It, it can be opened either by yourself, if you are the holder and beneficiary and you're age 18 or older, or it can be opened by a parent or guardian of a beneficiary who's under the age of 18. An RDSP is designed for long-term savings to provide financial security to individuals who do qualify for the disability tax credit. And one of the best features of the Registered Disability Savings Plan is that it's eligible for really significant grants and bonds from the government. So if an individual is able to contribute a contribution of $1,500 Depending on family income, there can be grants of up to $3,500 or 300% of the contribution that's been made. Bonds can also be paid into an RDSP account and they are not based on contributions, but they are uh, based on a family income that's quite a bit lower than that of the grants. And the amount of income that grants and bonds are uh, eligible based on changes every year. So just consult uh, your financial planner for the current year income amounts. Grants and bonds can be earned up to the age of 49. And if an individual was eligible for the disability tax credit, but maybe hadn't applied or wasn't aware that the RDSP was available, you can actually make contributions and earn back grants from previous years of eligibility that had not been earned yet. And uh, you can go back up to 10 years. So in, in a circumstance where you're catching up on grants that have been, uh, you were eligible but have not been claimed, you can contribute up to $4,500 and receive grants of up to $10,500. And bonds will be paid as well um, on years that were one was eligible but not earning the bonds. Bonds don't require a contribution, again, so just opening an RDSP while eligible is effective and a, a nice way to get some money from the government. There are up to $70,000 of grants that are available for a lifetime, as well as up to $20,000 of bonds that are available for a lifetime. And an individual can contribute up to $200,000 to an RDSP uh, in their name. Withdrawals can be made from an RDSP at any time, but it's best to wait 10 years so that grants and bonds aren't clawed back proportionately. RDSPs can be opened with any major financial institution. We can open them with our custodians as well. And grants are paid into the RDSP account as well as bonds shortly after contributions are made. Once we've opened the account, it's simply a matter of submitting the application to the government body. RDSPs are an effective way to save for your loved one's financial security in the future. We'll talk more about some of the finer details with RDSPs in our next video.